All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue year four with our Vancouver Canucks. We're all the way up here at the trade deadline, and uh, I think it's going to be a big day, just because last year we weren't a playoff team. I don't want to have back-to-back -back years of not making the playoffs. I thought maybe for a second there last year that we were going to be a rebuilding team. That's why we went out. We got Seth Jones, Sam Reinhart. Um, but we were able to hold on to some of those key players and, you know, a year later we're sitting in 8th place in the Western Conference, 35-26-2, pretty respectable record and, um, you know, considering that we turned it around as well, you know what I mean, we... And before that, like way earlier in the season, we went on that 10 game winning streak. But before that, ways back, I can't remember what month it was, we were one game below 500. So since then, we're way above 500. So I don't know if, you know, that uh, eighth place is accurate right now. I'd say. The way our team is playing, we're more of a, a, a fifth, sixth, fourth team right now. It's just that we had that uh, kind of rough start. But I think we're going to be okay. I just got to make sure that we don't make any crazy trades here and uh, shake up the chemistry that we have. Now, I was reading your comments and a lot of things. So this is going to be uh, a video, I think, purely devoted to the trade deadline because I want to make sure I do this the right way, okay? So we're going to take our time with this. Uh, first off, okay, we'll just go to the edit lines. I was reading your comments. A lot of you guys were saying Booth. Uh, you guys were agreeing with me. Booth has got to go. Now, um, I'm not set on trading away Booth. I would love to have Booth, say, on the third line, you know? Now, to get that second line sniper, you may have to trade Booth to get him. I understand that. But uh, if we could put Booth on the third line left wing, right? Cassian could even move down to the uh, the fourth line uh, instead of Yannick Hansen, or be sent down to the AHL, right? And then get that second line left wing. That would be great. And a second thing, a lot of you guys were saying that I should trade away Eddie Lack just because Clint Windsor is clearly our number one and I can bring up uh, Cousineau. Um, well, hang on. Before I do anything like that, let me just check out contracts because I do want to have two goalies going into the playoffs just in case an injury happens uh, to Clint Windsor, right? Now, how many more years does, uh, what's his name, have left? Eddie Lack's got one, two, three, ooh, you guys weren't lying, two more, two more years after this year. I see what you guys are saying. So if he drops, then you won't be able to trade him away, and that's a lot of salary cap. Yeah, I, I see what you guys are saying. All right, so Eddie Lack is definitely a tradable asset, yeah. And you know what, considering that we have to trade him away this year, because uh, Clint Windsor's going to want a big contract next year, probably five five or six, maybe four. Uh, yeah, Eddie Lack needs to be traded away now. Okay, so I agree with you guys. I was going to trade away Eddie Lack at the end of the season, but if he does drop down to an 81, 80 overall, you guys might be right. I might not be able to trade him away. So that is a good idea. So uh, Eddie Lack is definitely a uh, tradable asset, and we don't need to get a backup goalie because we have Cousineau down in the minors. So that is perfect. Now, when it comes to that second line left wing, before we go to the trade deadline, let's just see if we can make the trade right now. To do that, we have to make Make sure that the team wants to give those players away so let's just do a little bit of scouting here and let's see if we can actually just make the trade deadline trade right now make it a lot easier on ourselves okay so um yeah i guess i'll just uh well you know what hang on hang on hang on i said i wanted to do this the right way we got to figure out what kind of left wing we want here do we want a player that's going to be a part of our team with the rest of our young guns or is it just a one-off year type player you know uh so hang on a second here in the raw yeah 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 all right, so main roster, I just want to check out forwards right now. So the Sedin Twins are definitely going to be retiring in the next three three to four years. So I'm going to need young guns to replace those guys. But the Sedin Twins are not being traded away. So we have to have rookies that are ready to come up in the next four or five years for these guys. Uh, Kessler, same thing. He could still be here for another five years at least. Gerby. Gerby's a tradable asset, so Gerby doesn't count. So we have one, two, three. Jonathan Drewin, right? We no, these guys don't count. Yeah, so we only have uh, basically, yeah, we only have four right now. Now, hang on. Potential. Uh, Cassian, no, he doesn't count. Okay, so we really, going into the next, like, say, five years, we'll have a five-year plan, right? Uh, the Sedin twins, Kessler, and Jonathan Drewin are all to uh, part of our top six. Fine with that. Now, if we get that second line left winger, he's going to be a part of it as well. But let's see what kind of forwards we have coming up. Sam Reinhardt is going to be ready probably by next year to play on the third line. Definitely in two years. So he is going to be ready. Anthony Mantha. Now, this could be somebody that we could trade away. Just because, right, we have the Jonathan Drouin, uh, the Sedin Twins, and Kessler. And then Sam Reinhardt and Mackey are going to be coming up soon eventually as well. Mantha, he's still, like, three or four years away from being NHL ready. Now, he's going to be a power forward, and I don't have one of those guys, right? So maybe you do want to hold on to him. But 
like, uh, here, here's the thing, right? Do we get a player that is going to be a part of our franchise for the next five years? If we are, then we can trade away one of these prospects because they're just going to replace them. We're going to have way too many players, way too much salary cap. Um, one of these guys have got to go. But if we're trading for our veterans, say like a Datsuk, I saw that, um, then we don't trade away one of these guys. So, yeah, that, I guess that's the thing. If we can come across a player that can be a part of our five-year plan with a good salary, then I wouldn't mind trading away one of those prospects. But if it's going to be a veteran player, if there's no other young guns out there that I can get, then I want to hold on to Anthony Mantha, okay? So, yeah, let's go through this again. Sorry, boys, I just want to make sure I do this the right way. This is going to be a big trade. And it's not guaranteed that we're going to make the playoffs either. So if I make a big trade and like really overextend trying to make those playoffs and we don't make it, that's big. Now, Vinny LeCavalier, he'd be perfect, but no, no, no. Two years left at 7.7, .7, that's not going to work. If we're going to get a veteran, he's got to have one year left or multiple years with a really doable contract. Vinny LeCavalier just doesn't get it done. Mike Ribeiro, 36 years old. How good is he? Uh, third line scorer, don't need a Mike Ribeiro. Third line scorer, no. I want a first or second line left wing. Uh, all right, I got skaters giving away. Oh, big bad Joe, 8.6 mil, but that's doable for one year. Like, if I get him, yeah, we'll have enough salary cap available for big Joe. Now, big Joe, he's not a sniper, but how can I say no to big Joe? I mean, passing 94, puck control 94, his shot is not that good. Look at that shot, 86 is everywhere. So he's not going to put up, like, well, he's, he's had 25 goal seasons, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you're not getting a goal scorer in Joe. So, you know, for the second line, you're getting Kessler, Gerby, and Joe Thornton. That's good, right? But you got two playmakers and a two-way forward. Now, again, I, I still think that that would work because you could use Joe and he would be great defensively, win some face-offs, right? And he would make up for the lack of shooting with everything else, basically. He's a superstar. 88 overall, he's a superstar. So he would definitely help out our team. And one year left, that works out perfectly for us. 36 years old, that works out perfectly for us. Yeah, Joe Thornton would work. Now, hang on, I'm not going to make the trade just yet. And they want Eddie Lack, right? So, I mean, that is a very doable trade right there. Now, I'm not going to do it. Joe Thornton is the best player that we got so far, though. Okay, Joe Thornton is definitely the best player we have so far. Uh, so let me just keep on going here. Nope. Uh, Simone Gagne, five years left at 5.8. I ain't taking that contract on. Uh, nope. Nope. Patrick Marlowe. Ooh, ah. Patrick Marlowe would have been perfect instead of uh, Joe Thornton. First line left wing sniper. He would have been perfect to put on that second line. The only problem is, boys, two years left. That's the problem, right? Uh, hang on, let's see. Uh, where was it? Where, what the hell? Skaters even away. Yeah, Patrick Marlowe. Two years left at 7.5. Right? Now, oof. Now, that is interesting, actually. Because I could always... No, no, never mind. I was going to say I could always, uh trade for him and then trade him away at the end of the playoffs because he'll still be up there but look at his potential it's actually dropped to a three and a half star so he's guaranteed to drop to like an 86 85 next year basically all right joe thornton still had the four and a half star uh patrick marlowe no nah, and i won't be able to move that contract and i have some salary cap issues coming up this year i can't take on patrick marlowe but my god my goodness that would have been a perfect trade uh leg one nope two years montreal nope minnesota nope Los Angeles, uh, New Florida, uh, Stephen Weiss, one year. I'd rather get uh, Big Joe instead of Stephen Weiss, playmaker. Yeah, no, no, no. There's no no need to even look at that. Joe Thornton is still the best uh, best bet to go for right now. Uh, New, let's see here. Uh, uh, Cronwell, Zetterberg. Ah, two years left, though. Zetterberg is, no, nah, I'd rather have Joe Big Joe. Well, actually, Zetterberg's slightly better. He's younger. Two years left. He's got a better shot than Joe. Does he have more points? No, he doesn't have more goals this year. Ooh, I don't know. Two years left, though. That's the that's the issue, though, right there is the two years left. Uh, ooh, Dotsuk's down there. He's got two years left as well. Yeah, Detroit wants to give away all their big players. Yeah, but Dotsuk, look, he's, he's 91 overall, but he's got three stars. Next, He's going to retire or something by next year. I mean, I could do it. But I'd rather get Big Joe because I don't think Joe's going to retire and I could get something back for him. Zetterberg, 6 mil over two years. I mean, that's not horrible for salary cap issues. Zetterberg, ooh. I'd rather Zetterberg than Joe just because Joe gives you more of a passing category. And we already have Nate Gerby over there. I'd rather Zetterberg just for the shooting category. And then trade him away next year, you know, because, well, you, you don't necessarily need to. 
Ooh, okay. Zetterberg and J Big Joe. That's the uh, the two that we're going after right now. Uh, Louis. Oh, Louis Erickson. There it is right there. That's that's it right there. Second line sniper right now. Yeah, he's a first line sniper, left wing. He's got the better shot than Zetterberg and Big Joe. He's good defensively. He's got good discipline. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Louis Erickson is definitely the player. Now, I got Louis Erickson back in Washington, but I got him at the beginning of our franchise. Louis Erickson, he's 30 years old. One year, that's what I really love. One year left on his deal. And he's going to want like six mil this year, but we can easily do that. <sighs> now, hang on. Who do they want for Louis Erickson? Would they want, uh, what's his name? Eddie Lack. Let's see. They don't want Eddie Lack, though. Okay. So let's just keep on going here. Louis Erickson, Dotsuk, and Big Joe. Uh, let's see. Skaters giving away. No. Nope. Colorado. Skaters giving away. No. Nope. Uh, skaters giving away. No. Nope. Carolina. No. Nope. Calgary, new nope. Buffalo, new nope. Boston, new nope. and Anaheim, new. No. Okay, so when it comes to the players that they're willing to give away, um, it's Datsu, uh, not Datsu, Zetterberg, Erickson, and Big Joe Thornton. I gotta say, if we're looking for that second line left wing sniper, if that's the categories that we're going after, it's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be Louis Erickson, right? But if we don't care about what the uh, the player type is, if we don't care about just having a shooting category, I think it's got to be uh, Big Joe Thornton, just because of those defensive categories, you know, he would definitely help you out in the playoffs, um, damn, 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 all right, so we got the first step done, I told you guys this is going to be a video pretty much devoted just to the trade deadline, all right, so let's do this now, so what I want to do is position, forward, Second line forward between the age of 17 to 28 years old. Okay, potential range of at least three and a half star. Uh, shooting category of four stars. Okay, and that's basically, you know, give me a four and a half star, and that's basically it. Let me see if there's any players in that category. Whoa, no, no, potential of medium. There you go. All right, because we're looking for that second line left wing. Now, this is going to be a player that we trade for um, at the trade deadline. Someone that we have to go for that the team does not want to give up. Now, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get Landeskog. I'm not gonna get Lucic. I'm not gonna get Couture. Even I'm not even gonna get Kadri, Kane. Nate Gerby, all uh, well, I already have Nate Gerby, but like even these trade values, I'm not willing to give away a lot here at this trade deadline, right? Um, unless we're getting a younger player back. Now let me go to the bottom here. Bo Bennett, hmm, Bo Bennett, second line left wing sniper. Uh, he's got a really good shooting category. 24 years old at four star potential. Oof, yeah, I think Bo Bennett and his defensive awareness is 85, shot blocking 85. Stick checking 83. I mean, this guy really came out this year for the Pittsburgh Penguins. What's his stats like this year? 9, 29, and 38, but he's on Pittsburgh, so he's probably playing on, like, the second or third line. Crosby and Malkin are, and Kunitz are probably taking all the, uh, the well, Kunitz, this is year four. Kunitz might not be there, but uh, Neil, Crosby, and Malkin are probably taking all the points. The only thing I don't like about Bo Bennett is his body checking category. He's a bit weak there, but he is that second line, and he's a, he's a player that you can have on your team for the uh, years going forward, right? Bo Bennett, yeah, I'd rather get a Bo Bennett than uh, Joe Thornton. Kyle Lock Pozo, no, I don't want a power forward. Uh, Filatov, eh. no, I like Bo Bennett just because of the defensive category. Uh, Kyle Lock Pozo has, no, no, the shooting is much better for Bo Bennett. Yeah, he's got 90s in there. Yeah, uh, Pacioretty, some people were saying go after Pacioretty. Not a bad player, but a power forward again. Uh, I want a sniper. No, Bo Bennett's got the better shooting. Uh, just looking up. I'm going to look for, uh, snipers because there's no way any of these power forwards are two-way. Oh, Grabner, uh, Bo Bennett's got the better shooting, defensive, and body checking. Nope. I'd rather get Bo Bennett. Uh, Eller, Kruger, Wall, just looking for snipers. Is Hayes a sniper? No. What was he? No, power forward. Uh, Connolly for Tampa Bay. Yeah, Brett Connolly, 23 years old. Uh, he's got a pretty good shot as well. Bo Bennett's better defensively, though. Yeah, I'd rather stick with Bo Bennett. Yeah, now we're getting up, getting up to the trade values that are kind of high up there. All right, yeah, I'm going to go for Bo Bennett. Why not, yo? Why the hell not? He's a pretty good player. His trade value is all the way down there. He fits that second line left wing spot perfectly. And because his trade value is nice and low, I might be able to hold on to David Booth for a third line power forward, which would be perfect for us. All right, so Bo Bennett. Let's see if they're willing to give him up first. If not, we're going to have to go to the trade deadline. All right, so they don't want to give up Bo Bennett. Oh, that's one thing. Three more years at three mil. You know what? That's doable. No, that's doable. Yeah, he's going to be getting second line time and second line power play time. And he's got two more years of getting better. He's going to stay at 83 or maybe even get better. Yeah, 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 that's a worth the contract. I can e easily move that if I need to as well. All right, so Bo Bennett is the player that I want to go after. Yeah, all right, so I'll get rid of all that. 
Okay, so let's get this done now. Let's go up to the trade deadline and get this done. Well, I think I'm going to get uh, two GM modes up today because I do want to get to the playoffs. So yeah, we'll do the uh, trade deadline. And then the next video might just be a shortened video just to finish off the regular season. And then we can uh, set it up for the playoffs, okay? So continue. All right, so let's get to the trade deadline here. One more win against Boston. Come on, there you go. All right, at least we're going into this on a good note. So trade negotiations. Let us do this right now. So we had a few players there, Big Joe, Zetterberg, and Louis Erickson. Louis Erickson was looking better than Bo Bennett, but to get Louis Erickson, you have to trade a bit more, and Bo Bennett fits into our uh, franchise more than Louis Erickson does. I would have to trade Louis Erickson at the end of this year because he would want... Uh, we had that same contract come up in Washington. He wants a good, like, 60 years at 6.6 .6 mil or something like that. So uh, no thank you. Let's go after the young kid, Bo Bennett, from the Pittsburgh Penguins. So, Big Bo... Uh, yeah, he's not a player that they want to give away. Uh, where is he? Yeah, hey, let's see the forwards. That oh, Grigorenko is on friggin' Pittsburgh as well. He's stealing all the goals from Bo Bennett. Oh, no, he's not. Never mind. He hasn't played. He's still, he's still, uh, kind of down there. Uh, let's see the forwards that they have. Crosby, Malkin, Neal. Bo Bennett's their fourth best forward, and he only has that many goals, really? They're probably playing Crosby and Malkin on the same line. Whatever, though. Uh, all right, so Bo Bennett, get on my freaking team. Now, who do they want? Do they want Eddie Lack? They don't want Eddie Lack, okay? That's okay, though. Uh, let's see. Edler, no. Schrader, I think, is somebody that we should trade away. Yeah, I think Schrader's somebody. I don't want to give up anybody that we're using this year. I like all the players that we have. You know, maybe Chad LaRose we could give up just because, well, he's a penalty killer. No, you know what? Hang on. How good is, uh, I think the player who's going to be replaced here, I think it's got to be, uh, what's his name? Um, 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 uh, what's his name? Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 Cassian, yeah. I, even though he's got a pretty good trade value, and I think next year he's going to be getting a lot better, he's strictly a, uh, body checker. He's not, he doesn't have good defensive awareness, and I don't want to put him on the fourth line. That's the problem, right? I don't want to put Zach Cassian on the fourth line. He's definitely a third line, or maybe even a second liner of the future, but, uh, because this is going to be his last year where he's getting better. Um, so I don't want to stunt his growth by putting him on the fourth line. I think Zach Cassian's got to go down to the, uh, actually, you know what? Hang on. Where was he? Ah, shit. Let me just check out his stats for this year. Uh, Cassian. Let's see if he's if he's contributing to the team. I want to leave him, but let's just see what he's doing. Uh, five goals, 18, uh, eight assists, plus three. He's doing pretty good, but you know what? Screw it. Let's put him back down to the AHL. Yeah. Yeah, let's put him back down to the AHL so we can get Bo Bennett up here. Um, okay, so I don't want to trade away. What's his name? Let's just go down to the bottom. No, 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 no. Holding on all you guys. No, no. Holding on all you guys. Now, could trade Booth, but I want to hold on to Booth. No. Let's give away uh, Schrader here, okay? Schrader, his trade value is a bit more than Bo Bennett, but you're going to need that just because they don't want to give up Bo Bennett. Schrader, I mean, he was going to be a good player for us. I think next year he will be a good 82, 83, 84 overall, right? But he's a playmaker, and he doesn't have a good defensive category. And as a third liner, I want good defensive categories. He would be good on a team on a first or second line, but there's no room for him on my team. So I think Schrader can go. He's a good prospect, all right? But uh, this is why uh, this is what I was talking about. We, uh, we are now in a position we can trade away some of our prospects. Now, let me just see if I can get... I don't think... I, I don't even think Schrader for Bennett will go through. But let me just... Well, actually... This is the play. This is the trade. Let me just uh, lower it down to a third. All right. I know you guys are probably thinking, no, no, you can ask for more. I guarantee you, I can't. So Schrader and Bennett, or Schrader for Bennett and a third. Will it go through? No. See, uh, insufficient. Woefully insufficient. So I don't want to screw around with them right here. Um, they don't want to give up. They don't want to give up Bennett. They, even though they want Schrader, they don't want to give up Bennett. So it's almost like, I wish I actually knew this for a fact, but it's almost like if I had to guess. Just double that trade value, and then that's about what uh, it equals out to. Maybe even more, maybe less, but uh, it seems like it's uh, quite a lot when they don't want to give up the player. Um, and even when they want a player, like, uh, yeah, that looks like it's almost doubled than that, but it's still not working. So I'm not going to ask for any draft picks back, um, but I am going to just add in some of these players that I didn't sign, just to add it in there, okay? Uh, yeah, there you go, there you go, and there you go, okay? And I will just give you a third. Um, we're in year six. Yeah, the, the third doesn't do anything. I, I still don't think that'll go through, honestly. That might not go through. So Schrader, three unsigned players that we're not going to use on a third round pick for Bo Bennett. Will it go through? No, still not. Even though it's close to uh, quite close to a fair value. So we're in the same ballpark now. We're not pissing him off. We're not, uh, uh, you know, embarrassing him. But 
I knew it. They just don't want to give up this player. This is what I'm talking about. If we're going after a player um, that the other team doesn't want to give up, we have to be willing to give up a lot. That's why I was considering giving up those uh, young prospects. Uh, but they don't even want like Reinhardt or Jones or anyone. They want Schrader, which I can deal with. Um, I'm going to have to give up. I think I might have to give up my second and my third this year, boys. I know it's crazy, but this is a good player that we're getting back here. This is a good player. Okay, and we've done enough good drafting that uh, we have enough young guns. We're not giving up any young prospects. I know the second and third looks like a lot, but uh, got to do it. We want Bo Bennett. We got to do it. Okay, so I'm going to do it. Schrader, a second and third, two unsigned players for Bo Bennett. Will it go through? There it is. All right, there's not, there's not too much to deliberate about on this deal. I think the Pittsburgh Penguin fans will think that we came out ahead here. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. All right, perfect. So we got that done. And now, it's time to shake things up a little bit. HL lines, uh, best lines, whatever. Alright, now I'm going to do something that uh, you guys probably weren't expecting, but I made a mental note of it before. Alright, uh, we still have Eddie Lack, and I think I remember Big Joe wanted to go for Eddie Lack. Yes, he did. So we have to unload um, Eddie Lack uh, contract anyway, right? So why won't that go through? Is it too many goalies on their end? Hang on, let me just add a goalie to uh, this deal from their side. Ah, shit. No, it's not a goalie. Okay, so why isn't that going through? Wonder why that's not going through. Um, all right, let me just execute the trade just to see why. Uh, they would, oh, I believe you would put my organization over the maximum allowed team salary cap. Okay, fair enough. So I got to go do roster moves. Can I do that from here? I definitely have got to be able to do that from here. Come on. Uh, continue. I don't think I can, can I? Shit. Oh, that's all right. I'm going to have to trade away one of the uh, players on our roster anyways if I want Joe Thornton to be playing, so I can do that. I just I wanted to make sure it wasn't a goalie problem, and it's not, so that's good. Yeah, so my thought process here, boys, is you guys convinced me that we have to trade away Eddie Lack anyways, so, so I want to do that right now. So we're going to trade him away. Why not get a player that can really help our, our playoff uh, hopes this year? Big Joe could play on the third line center. I know it's a bit of an embarrassment for Big Joe, but he's 36 years old. He's going to be retiring soon. All right, I don't know if uh, San Jose has won the cup in this run. I don't think they have. So he hasn't won a Stanley Cup yet. All right. Yeah, perfect third line center. Our third line would be amazing then with Big Joe. And, you know, if we're giving up Eddie Lack, we're not going to be giving up a lot to get him. He can just play on the third line. And if he doesn't retire, then we can drop him to free agency if we can't sign him. Right? It's just another player that we can afford, basically. So why not try to get him? Uh, so this is what I'm going to do. Add that player. Now. He's going to be playing on our third line center. Now, our third line center right now is looking like Booth, Weiss, and Big Joe, right? That would leave the fourth line to being uh, Malhotra, Peverly, Chad LaRose, and uh, Hansen. So there's one too many players in there. So let's see if they want any of those players that uh, I just said. Tanev, Bennett, Fall, Camby, it's gone, it's Ulrich. Uh, Malhotra. So they want Manny Malhotra. So I think i got to trade away Manny Malhotra just to make this deal go through. It still won't go through. Okay, so hang on. Damn it! I wish I, I wish I would have made some roster changes. I, w I should be able to go to my rosters during the trade deadline, man. Uh, Hanson, uh, LaRose. You know what? I think I might trade away LaRose for. Yeah, I'll keep Malhotra and I'll trade at uh, trade away uh, LaRose because that'll increase the salary available. Why won't that go through now? Too many players for them. Let's just see. Hang on, all skaters. Let's see, Pinizzotto. Well, that. Oh, I think I'm. I think I'm way too over the cap with this trade. Damn it, man. I thought for sure I'd be able to make that trade. Shit. Chad LaRose, really? Hang on. Let me just add a little bit more salary in this. Chad LaRose and what's his name? I'm not going to make this trade, though. I think I'm going way too overboard now. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where am I? Where am I? I'm looking for somebody. Uh, what about Murph? No, no, that's that's useless. What the hell am I looking for? I'm looking for Manny Malhotra. There you go. Malhotra, LaRose, Fair, Lack. Really? That won't go through. If it's saying that it's putting me too close to salary, then... Oh, no, 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 I can't do that now. Okay, okay, so I did. I was able to fix it. Uh, okay, now, I don't think this is going to go through now just because i got to work with it so much that there's players all over the place now, you know? Um... Ah! I don't think that's going to work. And, no, that's that's a waste. No, that's a, that's a complete and utter waste of a trade. No, 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 no. Don't waste, don't waste your time with that. Don't waste your time with that. You're shaking up your chemistry just to get Joe Thornton. I thought I'd be able to get Joe Thornton a bit easier, but I can't, so we won't. So, what I'll do with Eddie Lack is simply trade him to, away to a team that wants him for a draft pick. Because we traded away our second and third this year. So, let's get a second and a third back, shall we? There you go. And goalies, no, they don't want to give away any goalies. 
Hang on, I will find a team that wants to give away. Come on, man. There's got to be a team with a goalie spot available on the roster. Let's go. Uh, Columbus, no, they don't want him. Edmonton, they do, but of course they got too much. There you go. Uh, you, come on my team. Come on, man, Jesus. I hate this. Because in real life, the teams would be able to arrange their rosters. There you go, finally. All right, Florida can do it. So Eddie Lack for a first and a second. And I will give up my seventh, my sixth, my fifth, and my fourth. So that way I'll have two firsts and a second for Eddie Lack, all right? So, uh, you know what? I don't think that'll go through. Let me just add a third. I'll take away my fourth. There you go. Eddie Lack, a seventh, a sixth, and a fifth for Florida's first and a third. Will it go through? No, still not. Come on, man. Jesus. This trade deadline's taking forever. All right, let's keep it going here. Uh, Florida. There you go. Just how about just the first then? All right, Eddie Lack, just for the first. And I'll give you my uh, remaining because I don't want these. These are kind of useless. There you go. All right, so Eddie Lack for a first. Will it go through? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. All right, so I'll just get the second and third back. That's fine. So Florida. Jesus, this video is going long. I got to wrap it up. Uh, just give me a second and give me a third and I will give you Eddie Lack. Let me just make sure this goes through. Hang on. I'll give you that unsigned player and I will give you a sixth, a seventh and a fifth. All right. So I'll get that second and third back. Will it go through? There you go. All right. There's not too much to deliberate about on this deal. So we traded away for Bo Bennett, a second and a third and Schrader. And then we traded away. What's his name? Oh, now I can get to the rosters. Do you see what I mean? Now I can go to the roster, whatever. Assistant coach, best roster. Jesus. All right, so let's wrap this up. Yeah, I definitely want to get the uh, get the regular season done in this uh, recording. Well, not this recording. I got to make two videos today, but this fucking video is... What, how long is it? I may have to uh, chop up... I don't know what I'm going to do, but you're going to get uh, a good 30 minutes, 35 minutes of uh, GM mode today when it's all said and done. Come on, finish trade deadline. Jesus. I don't want to lose all this, man. I've been recording for way too long. Hurry Jesus, how many freaking phones do I have? All right, so there you go. So we got the end of the season to try and make the playoffs now, but uh, with that trade for Bo Bennett, all right, and getting the draft picks back, I like the way our team is looking now. So, uh, yeah, we'll finish up in the next video, and I will see you guys there.